They say Rome wasn't built in a day, and they're right. The same applies for any small property or bed and breakfast. Like any business, it takes planning, effort, and compromise, and it certainly doesn't happen overnight. There are a host of things that need to be covered, such as a thorough business plan, hiring the right staff, marketing, and more. However, there are a lot of things that need to be avoided too. So without further ado, here's our list of the top five things to avoid when starting a B&B. Number one, not understanding your market. This applies to practically all businesses, but hear us out. How do you reach out to your customers and who specifically are your customers? You could market locally, printing brochures and putting up billboards, but what if your area usually attracts more international guests? Think about marketing online, listing on online travel agents like Booking.com and Airbnb. Number two, underselling and over-delivering. Yes, delivering a fantastic guest experience is important, but so is charging them the right amount for this. If you go above and beyond the normal realms of customer service, you may find it eating away at your profit margins. Don't be afraid to raise the prices to match the quality of service. Number three, trying to do it all. Often being a one or two person band isn't the right way to run a B&B due to the sheer volume of work and tasks that have to be done. Cleaning, managing bookings, check-ins, check-outs, refurbishments, taxes. It's a good idea to hire some help so your guest experience doesn't suffer. That way you can enjoy the occasional glass of wine too. Number four, failing to do enough research. As the saying goes, if you fail to prepare, then you prepare to fail. Study the area that you're in. Where do most travelers and tourists come from? What type of traveler are they? Are they traveling for leisure or for business? What will these guests be expecting from a property like yours? Make sure you have an understanding of your guest profiles so you can market to them and cater to them accordingly. Finally, number five, rushing to open your doors. Like the dating world, first impressions count. If you open your B&B and the rooms aren't ready, there are poor management systems in place and disorganized staff. That's what people will remember. We have a full list of top 10 mistakes to avoid, as well as other tips on running your B&B on our blog. Check out the link in the description below to read the full blog post and for more high quality content.